Hi everyone, it's Mao from Sparkly Belly. The sound of zills is enough to get me excited and wanting to dance, but they're a bit too loud to play at night in my apartment. So in this video, you'll see how I made these zill mufflers and a matching zill pouch. You can make them to the sizes of your zills and it's a great project to use a pretty scrap fabric. Let's get started. To make zill mufflers and pouch, you need scrap fabric, I'm using leftover fabric from last week's mini skirt overskirt project. You'll need about 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters or 20 inches by 20 inches. Elastic, about one meter or 40 inches of a quarter of an inch wide elastic. And string, about 50 centimeters or 20 inches of a quarter of an inch wide string. First, let's make the zill mufflers. On the wrong side of your fabric, Place your zill and trace the outline. From the outline, measure 1 cm or 3 8 of an inch all around and cut along the outer line. Trace this piece 3 times and cut them out so you have 4 identical panels. I'm using stretch fabric which doesn't fray, but if you're using a material that frays, treat the edges before moving on to the next step. Next, hold the elastic in a circle like this that's about 1 cm or 3 8 of an inch smaller than the circumference of your zill with a 1 cm overlap. Cut the elastic to that length and sew the ends together. Then match up the elastic to the right side of the circle panel at quarter points. No need to be super accurate here. Just fold the elastic and the panel in half to find the approximate half points and match them up. And do it again the other way to find quarter points and match them up. That's it. Take that to your sewing machine and set your sewing machine to do a small zigzag stitch. I set mine at 2 mm stitch length and 3 mm stitch width. Do a few stitches along the edge, then hold the thread from behind and Pull the elastic from the front and continue stitching along the edge. After several stitches, adjust the layers and continue to pull the elastic as you stitch. So the elastic and the panel become flat and together. Once you go around the entire circumference, turn it inside out and the zill muffler is finished. Attach elastic to the rest of the circle panels and your zill mufflers are finished. Next, let's keep sewing and make an easy matching zill pouch. Cut the fabric into a rectangular that's 15 cm or 6 inches in width and 34 cm or 13 and a half inches in length. If your fabric frays, treat the edges before moving on. Then fold the fabric right sides together lengthwise and do a straight stitch along one side all the way with the 1 cm or 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. And along the other side from the fold leaving a 5 cm or 2 inch opening from the top edge. At the opening, fold 1 cm or 3 8 of an inch from the edge and do a straight stitch with a 5 mm or a quarter of an inch seam allowance along the folded edge like this. Then fold 5 mm or a quarter of an inch from the top edge and fold again 1 and a half centimeters or 5 8 of an inch from the fold and do a straight stitch along the fold with a 2 mm or an eighth of an inch seam allowance. This is the casing for the string. Finally, turn it inside out and thread your string through the casing. I'm using a safety pin to guide the string through the casing. Tie the ends at the length you like and trim the rest. And your matching zill pouch is complete. This pouch should be large enough to accommodate big zills and it can be used to keep your accessories and lipstick to take to the backstage as well. With these zill mufflers and zill pouch, your zills are well protected. These are really easy to make and great projects to use up pretty scrap fabric. Make your very own sparkly zill mufflers and a matching zill pouch to accompany you to shows. 
Hope you like this Zil mufflers and Zil pouch tutorial, and if you did, please share this tutorial with your dancer friends. And if you love Zils like I do, I have good news. Next week, I'll have a very special guest, Sahira, over on the Sparkly Belly blog. I consider Sahira the queen of Zils, and she'll share with you tips on how to choose a costume when you perform with Zils. I'm super excited about this because you'll find lots of valuable tips and ideas in this post. If you're curious, make sure to go over to sparklybelly.com and sign up for my newsletter so you won't miss it. By the way, both Sahira and I are part of this year's belly dance bundle. What that means is that you can get both Sahira's and my courses plus 20 more programs at an incredible price. The sale starts in a couple of weeks, so check out this year's star-studded instructor list at sparklybelly.com slash bdb2019 instructors. Thanks for watching and keep sparkling!